Welcome back to our channel. I'm Greg LeBon with Arcasan Professional Sand Sculptors, and we have a new team member. Her name is Cher LeBon, and she's been with us for about two months, and she's already doing a good job of sculpting. Today we're going to recap the best projects from 2017. It's a good year. We had a blast and I think if you watch these projects with a special attention to detail you'll see the little nuances about how we do the work and what I really want you to do is to adapt some of our tips and tricks of what, the way we do it into your own projects and into your own workflow. We want to share what we do with you so that you guys become better sand sculptors and that makes for a better deal altogether. So let's get right with it. Let's go right to the 10th best project for 2017. Coming in at number 10 for 2017 is a project we did for the Stagecoach concert out in Coachella. And that concert is attended by hundreds of thousands of people. Um, we were asked by Toyota as a sponsor to create an Oasis setup. And they created a huge tent so you can get some shade because it gets really hot out there in the summer. And uh, in between songs and during the songs, you could hang out at this Oasis. And we had a blast. My son Alex and I created the sand sculpture and uh, they put some really neat um, LED lighting on it and we changed up the lighting and you know an oasis is palm trees and and we did all of that in this sand sculpture so that comes in at number 10 for So coming in at number nine for 2017 is a project we did at the Ritz-Carlton Laguna Niguel for the Bank of America. They were having a leadership meeting there at the hotel and they asked us to do a sand sculpture for them on one of our platform tables right at the front door, right as you walked into the Ritz-Carlton. Um, an amazing venue, an amazing location, and we had a lot of fun um, doing a that sand sculpture for Bank of America and their President's Club, and uh, we put some LED lighting on it to get, get some great um, night color shots, and um, yeah, they had us do a castle in their logo. It all turned out great. So, number nine for 2017, Bank of America at the Ritz-Carlton Laguna Niguel. Okay, so number eight for 2017 is a project we did for Intel at the San Diego Convention Center in beautiful San Diego, California. Um, Intel had us come down and create a sand sculpture out of their foyer. And we spent a couple of days working on it and groups of 
thousand, two thousand people would walk by in between their breakout sessions and stand there and ooh and ah at this thing and take pictures and and then they'd disappear back into a session. And uh, we had this sand sculpture there at the um, San Diego Convention Center for two, three, four days for them. And they even asked us to put some color into the sculpture. I think we did white and we put some lighting on that and it, it was a very nice effect. I did that project with Ko Tanaka and his son Tetsuya. I did a lot of work in 2017 with both of them, Ko and Tetsuya. And we had a great time with that one. So that one comes in at uh, number eight for 2017. Coming in at number seven for 2017 is a project we did for CRH in beautiful Pelican Hill in Newport Beach, California. Um, they actually built us an amazing platform. Um, it was like a white box and we created a big beautiful city buildings from New York. We did um, uh, the Chrysler Building, the Empire State Building, uh, the new One World Trade Center. And we actually did their building, which is kind of their historic start to their company. And um, all of those we, we captured in, in this montage of buildings that are part of this display that we did outside their meeting room. They were a pretty small group, uh, maybe 15, uh, 50 to 75 people, if I don't recall. Uh, but they were great to work with and they loved what we did for them. So coming in at number seven, CRH, Pelican Hill, Newport Beach, California. Coming in at number six for 2017 is a project my son Alex and I did called Make It, Break It. And this one was a hoot. We went to a film studio in Venice, California, where they had children who were in teams. A team of two of them were the Make It team and a group of two of them were the Break It team. And we created this sand sculpture on one of our platforms and the kids helped and they threw, they engineered a catapult that was going to throw a ball, a 10, 20 pound ball and destroy this castle. And we didn't see that live. Uh, it would have been nice to see that because they filmed that day too. But um, 
we had a blast with it. Um, they had us build it in a place and then they wanted us to shift it and move the sculpture and we had built it on this platform and the platform was deflecting and and we had a lot of fun with just the logistics of this one i think some of these images that you're seeing will show that um, but great to work with the video turned out great uh, google search make it break it on youtube and uh, watch uh, our segment and uh, enjoy our behind the scenes peek at this in addition to the video that they produced and it's a lot of fun to see can we stick a car jack underneath each one of these corners just to hold like not to lift just to hold yeah sure yeah, yeah, yeah do it i'm gonna hold it i mean we have how many jacks do we have i, I have like there are two right now i have two Great, let's do it, Jake. It's smart thinking. Coming in at number five for 2017 is a project that we did for Instagram. And um, Alex, who went on that project with me, was telling me early 2017 what a mover and shaker Instagram was and that we needed our own Instagram account. And I think that was about the time we actually really started to get active on Instagram was 2017. And we did this party for Instagram. And because this party was for all the biggest influencers, all the bigger Instagram people, we were around all of the Instagram kind of royalty. I mean, you know, 10,000 followers or more, 100,000 followers, I don't know. But um, by us being there, we went from like a few hundred followers to like 1500 followers overnight by them tagging us and by our work being tagged um, so we had a blast with Instagram they're great to work with um, it comes in uh, for 2017 is our number five project Coming in at number four for 2017 is a project we did for The Voice. Um, that NBC TV program, um, it had uh, Jennifer Hudson, it had um, Miley Cyrus, um, it had Jake, it had all the stars that we remember from 2017 on The Voice. And we did the logo with the hand holding the microphone and uh, Alex and I worked on this. It was a lot of fun. Um, we had a chance to actually meet the stars. They came down there and posed with the sand sculpture. In fact, Alex had a chance to meet Miley Cyrus. And I got a couple of great photos of Alex with Miley and a couple of Alex with uh, Jennifer Hudson. So it was uh, a, a day that uh, we'll remember 
um, it was fun because I, I was sending that photo to friends and saying, yeah, Alex and yeah, you know, Miley Cyrus. I don't know if she's right for him, but anyhow, it was uh, it was fun to, to joke around a little bit about that because uh, we'd always get people to raise their eyebrows like you're kidding your son's hanging out with Miley Cyrus anyhow that comes in at number four for 2017 The Voice NBC Coming in at number three for 2017 is a project we did for the 2017 NHL All-Star Game for hockey. And we were down at uh, LA Live, which LA Live is a place that's dear to my heart. I had a chance to, as an architect, work on some of the buildings there at LA Live way back in 2007, 8, 9, 10. And I get asked to come back and do sand sculptures. We did a big LA Kings sand sculpture and we did this one also for the NHL um, All-Star Game. And um, it turned out great. It was a double sized table. We, we had to do the load in at night because we were busy finishing the project that we did out in Pelican Hill that day. And we, it was one of those kind of two jobs in a day deal and then we finished the sculpture the next day uh, with a full crew i think we had donnie with us we had alex um, we had ed nagy it was a great uh, adventure and uh, we you know great times um so coming in at number three the nhl all-star game at staples center la live
coming in at number two is the project we did for the U.S. Open of Surfing in Huntington Beach. And kind of every year we get to do their centerpiece sculpture. And I think this was one of my favorites uh, that we did for them. This was like 75 feet long. It was their full-on logo. And we, we had a blast with it. They um, shovel a big pile for us with tractors and we then shape it and soak it and pack it some more and then we start carving from the top down and we created their logo and you know it's always sponsored by vans and um, each year it's a blast and this year was incredibly fun we did the LED lighting on this um, as a neat effect and we did a lot of different colors and um, it comes in as our number two project one two for 2017 U.S. Open of Surfing, Huntington Beach. I think over five, six, seven hundred thousand people will see that sculpture over an eight, nine day period. Number two. Right, thanks for hanging in there all the way to our number one for 2017. <clears throat> so, drum roll, you know, brrr, do you know how to play the drums there, Cher? If you did, great. Um, our best project for 2017 is Summer of Love. And we actually did this project in our backyard, in our backyard sand pit. We got 16 tons in our backyard that we used to practice. And I was captivated behind the story of the 50 year anniversary of the Summer of Love when everybody migrated to San Francisco and they basically hung out at Haight-Ashbury and they went down there in their minivans. And this sand sculpture basically takes a lot of those components. Uh, we have the Golden Gate Bridge uh, modeled. We have the flowers for flower power. We have um, all kinds of these elements, including that minivan with the window partway rolled down, um, that all kind of are iconic of the Summer of Love and the 50th anniversary. Um, it was up in our backyard for a couple of months, and we couldn't quite figure out what we wanted to carve at the U.S. Sand Sculpting Challenge in San Diego on the Broadway Pier. So we all kind of like threw out ideas and we came up with, hey, let's do the Summer of Love there also. And you'll see here at the end of this video clip that I've got maybe 15, 20 photographs um, from that build 
Um, and we did a very similar design concept uh, there and shared the summer of love with another 40 or 50,000 guests that come to that event. I think we ended up taking second place with that piece. So it was a good, a, a good uh, summer of love for us. So to end the 2017, the summer of love uh, becomes the best project. So thanks for staying with us. Um, if you did like this video, please smash the like button. In fact, please smash the like button even if you didn't like the video. Uh, we can use the help. And remember to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And if it means you got to sign up for some kind of a Google account, they're free, go ahead. And then you can be notified when we post our latest um, information. If you haven't uh, watched some of our tutorials, I think they're great. If you want to learn to be a better sand sculptor, we've taken some time and we've shown you how to create a baby Yoda, for example, in sand or a traditional castle with towers and roads and bridges. So they're all there on our page, um, on our channel for YouTube. Go check some of them out. So uh, until next time, we'll see you on the beach.